just not picking that up right. Got you stuck off the rhythm realness, rhythm realness. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We're we back. are live. Look at this much different backdrop today. Yes, much different <laughs> backdrop. Uh, and I feel we should address it early. Go early going. Um, you guys know we had the amazing uh, Harbor Studio, as you saw. We got to cut sometimes, man. Um, we had a couple of differences with the uh, with the landlord where we had the Harbor Studio. Things didn't work out. They uh, actually towed our yacht. They towed our yacht from the harbor. So our yacht from the harbor. Uh, we went there. Things got a little bit Grand Theft Auto-ish. We're not going to say much more than that. You can infer from that what you may. <laughs> Good morning, Bushwick. We it is Friday. We, we should create like a, a reenactment in Grand Theft Auto <laughs> and, play, <laughs> and play it on the next show. Like what happened to the harbor? Uh, what happened to the harbor studio? But today's Friday, man. Episode 20. Episode 20. Wrapping week four. We on a roll, Danny. I feel good about this. I, f I like this too because uh, I like the backdrop, man. It feels good. This music. is how we did the initial. You can see uh, the music for coffee people behind this, man. And then all the fantastic yes, photography. All the photography, man. In house. I'm I'm cool with it either way, man. But uh, I gotta ask you because I I kind of went back and forth with this last night. Did you watch Veronica? No, I didn't get to watch it. I'm watching it tonight, and the only reason I didn't get to watch it, there were problems on the L train. And I didn't get in the crib till like 12:30. And when I went, I, I, I usually cut myself off like, yo, sleep, like close your eyes by 2 a.m. to get enough sleep when I wake up by 8. Like, so, like I saw how long it was, like almost two hours long. I didn't want to like be up till 2.30. That's, yeah, that kind of stopped me too. Yeah. It was I'm going like to watch it tonight. 10. I'm going to get, um, tonight, I don't have to wake up tomorrow and do anything till later in the day when I have to go into work. So, I mean, later in the afternoon when I have to go into work. So, I'm going to wake up, like when I get in tonight. For those of I you who don't it. even know what the hell we're talking about. Yesterday we uh we was talking about the that new Netflix, uh, Netflix horror movie, movie Veronica and and you know another thing that held me back because I was at initially I was like yo so it was an hour forty five minutes I'm like yo I, I still want to watch it though but when I went to watch it I was gonna I, mean, I wanted to eat too because uh I'm, you know I'm getting in from work I, I hadn't eaten yet and I saw it had subtitles so I'm like damn I have to read what's going on so I can't be looking down to eat and be missing like most of the movie so I'm like you know what I just I just scratch it and hold it till tomorrow. And I don't have a tomorrow. Netflix account, so I had to go to like one of those uh, one of those sites, no, like Rainier Land or some shit. I don't even I don't even I don't even know any of these sites. <laughs> Let me watch this dot com. But the problem with that is that you spend half of the time buffering, so you end up watching a two hour movie in six hours. Damn. So I couldn't do that to myself last night. But yeah. hopefully hopefully tonight we catch it. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it tonight when I get in from work, man. But uh it looked uh I I'll say the first because I turned it on, I was ready to go, and then when I saw it, like, I had to stop time and, like, scratch this. I need to do I, it tomorrow. I'll say the first. I was, uh, I turned it on. What am I hearing? Ready to go. No, this is right like here. Uh, you know how it is. Yeah, definitely freaked me out a little bit there. So, uh, we're, we're going to gather ourselves. Um, watching ourselves the, the on the The first little bit of the movie, I saw, like, the first, like, 10 seconds of it starting. It seemed kind of promising. Like, man, it seems like I'm going to like this. Like, the way it was saying everything, and it had the cops, like, zoom, like, so I'm like, all right. I think this may be a promising movie just by those. The first, I'll say, 10, 15 seconds made me feel like it might be a promising movie. Yeah. And we saw about the 10, 15 seconds right before we uh, we came on the air with the video of the day. Yes. And I actually watched it before, and it's a great video, fantastic music. But we had to show love to the hood. And we, we I want to get this on the air because we still, like, we spoke about it before, but I want to go back after we get off the air and actually figure out who was right. Where do you think they're from? I don't know, man. Um, I told you. I, wh what do you think first? What was your guess? Because I was going to say something like Alabama. Because it's not a, I mean, there wasn't a heavy, like, like uh, I felt like there was an accent, like not, not like a heavy southern accent, man. So, like, at first I want to say maybe like somewhere, maybe like uh, New Jersey. But then I said, I thought maybe somewhere upstate, like Newburgh or Rochester, maybe, maybe Buffalo. Yeah, we got to check at the end of the episode. We have to check, man. But it's uh, 38 Slim, Trap Stupid, shot in 4K, and you got to love the 4K cameras. Ultra HD, man. That quality. Got to got to take risks, man. Did, landed, and uh, good, uh, good shot, man. You got to shoot your shot. Bunch of good shit. Bunch of good shit. That's what I'm going to call that. Straight up entertainment. 
I like how they did the logo. I like the logo, yeah. That's, right. that's what I was that's what I was looking up. <laughs> Straight up entertainment. I love I love that logo. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Today's one of those special days though. Today's one of those days. I mean, not only did they set everything up differently, but uh we have another in studio guest. Yes. And it's Raf. I said that correctly? Yeah, Raf. From the Raph. band Pico Pico. Yeah. Yeah, you got both. <laughs> yeah, man. Practicing uh, that all morning. Yes, yeah. uh, but before we go on, man, I want to ask how'd you manage to. You didn't explain it. He was asking the name, bro. Like, I kind of got your name, like, for the band early. Like, I saw it Pico. Like, I yeah. thought it was spoke for itself. He's like, how do you, how do you no, pronounce what, it? No, what happened was, you know, obviously I got a bunch <laughs> of other like, stuff Piki, on my mind. Piki. So no. it was just, I, I remembered the P I and the K. But I, I, I couldn't remember if it was a co, if it was a key, if it was a. Like I was going, with this is like it's pretty. I was like that was but a pretty straightforward name we've had like to have to pronounce. Like that was pretty straightforward for me. I, so, I, I, I was like I was a hundred percent confident. I'm not gonna get this one wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't do any of that hipster thing like change the U to a V or anything. Weird chaverches. Pique. <laughs> That's the Spanish for hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, let's let's pull this up real quick because, you know, just by looking at the website, your website, of course, let's get let's get it's picomusic.com, yeah. right? Sedan, and one of the things that we saw in the uh, biography is that you're inspired by Bushwick. The project was inspired by Bushwick. Are you from Bushwick? No, um, the album just I wrote a lot of this EP while I lived here. So um, this specific EP, there's a lot of inspiration from this neighborhood. How long have you uh, been in the neighborhood? About five or six years. Five, six so years. Not, not that long. I'm definitely a new newcomer. And where uh, you, where, where you were from? you before you came? I, I'm from Rochester originally. Rochester. Upstate. Upstate? Yeah. Yeah. Shit, I'm yeah. over here talking about Rochester. You're over here keeping <laughs> it keeping it silent. Like, homie, over here, you trying to diss my hometown? Like, I would have straight up, somebody said somebody from Bushwick, like, nah, I don't know, man. They ain't really, they don't look like they got it, man. So. No, no, no. Um, no, we were just talking about Halsey earlier, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, fair enough. But yeah. I didn't change my name to be. <laughs> That's Fair enough, stop. also. <laughs> Fair enough, man. But if you're inspired by it, man, go with it, man. Is Halsey from Decal. from here? Nah, she's from I believe it said Jersey. I mean, Jersey. I'm <laughs> he said decal. <laughs> decal. Uh. Oh, so we got another TV over there. Yeah. This is news. This is new shit everywhere, bro. It's everywhere like across the board, studio. man. But uh, what uh, what inspired you about Bushwick, man? Uh, cause I mean, I've heard people say like the neighborhood inspires them, but they just, I mean, I feel like they're full of shit. It just it feels like something good to say. Yeah. What inspired you about like, um, the neighborhood? Because you put a whole project together. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily the neighborhood as much as just unique experiences I went through here. And it was and uh, using, like, terminology like street names and uh, some, like, concrete details like that kind of helped me paint a picture. But definitely not one of those like i grew up in this neighborhood kind of eps it's it's like if you guys listen to it it's a lot of like electro pop r&b ish stuff i heard i heard if if it was what was on your instagram yeah yeah a lot of sense um but yeah i mean i did i wrote the ep going through a breakup like the way people write most music if you ever need Conrad. to write something, <laughs> <laughs> you ever need to write something, just break up with someone. Um, and uh, so I wrote it, and I wasn't going to do anything with it initially. It was just sort of a catharsis thing. And then, um, oh, we're still working? Cool. And then uh, I had I've a lot of friends encouraging me to release it, and that's kind of how this has spiraled. But before I was playing in other bands. So what, yeah. what's your take? Uh, hey, uh -huh. he's back. What's going brand on? New, brand new setup. We're not. They they kicked us out of the uh, the the docking uh, the loading dock yeah, over there. Yeah, we, uh, we, could, we couldn't hang out at the uh, harbor anymore. They told us. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, see. I just lost my train of thought. Yeah. There, there there was um there was something that I saw on your Instagram. I think I pulled that up too. Where it was. Oh man, I'm not sure I've been on that. No, listen. It was this right here. Songs to dance. Alone to. Yeah, that's the EP name. Uh, that's the EP name. So Sedan is the single that you have right now. Yeah. And where can people listen to that? Where can they find Everywhere. it? Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. So um, it's one of those things. It's being distributed through the Orchard and uh, CEN, so you can find it on Spotify, 
iTunes. Not really giving preference to any of them. I personally like Spotify. And if you uh, listen to enough uh, of my songs on Spotify, I can like buy lunch, I guess. That's <laughs> like the good part of that, it. Yeah, that's man. that's cool. music industry. Yeah, talk yeah. Right there. <laughs> streaming. Uh, but wasn't there like a ruling recently that uh, these streamers have to start ponying up more? Uh, did I see that somewhere? Uh, on YouTube, they did, yeah. I'm not like, a, I don't have a YouTube game though. But wow. yeah, something on YouTube, they need more subscribers or something. Uh, I thought it was, I thought it was, uh, I, I don't know, I thought I saw something that said that uh, but like streamers like Pandora, uh, oh yeah. Spotify, like those guys, they have to start giving more of the revenue because they get a lot of they get you guys like a lot of the streamers get crazy hits and then like i've seen people post what they get after a hundred thousand yeah. some odd plays and they've only got like the cents $4. on a dollar yeah. for like it's insane yeah being unsigned definitely helps uh with that stuff because then a record label isn't taking part of it or you know anyone else or if you have an expensive manager um but yeah i've seen that i've seen people that are like Huge artists get like three dollar checks from Spotify. That's so. Awesome. How how long have you actually been in the industry where you actually you know put out a project? You know all these things now. Um, I mean, I'm still learning a lot. It it's changed so much since I started playing in bands when I was a teenager. Um, I we were signed to a band, um, like to a label in like a email rock band when I was younger. I've always played music with my little brother and. Um, it was very different back then. We had to like print out a bunch of CDs and make sure we got the CDs in time for the show. And now it's like, why would I? Why the good would I old make days. CDs? <laughs> <laughs> why, why would, would I you, pay man? For that? Talk about it. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say CDs are dead technology, but they're dying. Almost. They're yeah. they're dying. They're hanging like right there on the edge. Yeah. Man. Like, like Boney Boney Bear just posted a picture of a like a ripped uh, version of his first album. He's like. Whoever did this, you can make up for it by buying it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Imagine, imagine cool. how people view cassettes now. Cassettes. Yo, imagine, imagine those are coming back in a weird way, though. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe well, people shops. try. People try. If I see, so, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. If I see someone in public rocking a Walkman, because you just said, now, now I'm gonna be on the lookout for it. Because no, I feel like it's the in vintage Bushwick thing. of all places, I will see someone rocking a Walkman, man. Yeah. And if I see it, man, I'm going to stop and take a picture <laughs> of them and post it on Buddy Rush. Uh, a scene in Bushwick. And no, I'll tag you. And I'm going to tag you in it. You should. No, I always <laughs> wanted, though, is uh, what's that thing from Home Alone called where you can talk into it? Oh, the. Uh, I never got to have one. I would totally buy from one. From Home if Alone, I saw too, one. to jump yeah. off, he had, uh, he had the, little, the little mic and change yeah. his voice. Always want every every kid wanted one of those, man. Talk back. The talk, the talk something, man. You, now they got them. They have them in app version. Yeah, right? like, you, yeah. You, I want the. You got to get the. It's still. I think. I think there's something about shop. the nostalgia about yeah. that. Like yeah. it's like, hey, Macaulay, you're not the only one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he probably still has that because a lot of these actors keep a, a lot of the pieces yeah. that they have. In nah, the but they actually sold that. It was just sh even at that time, sh like expensive as shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, those were expensive. <laughs> It was expensive, like even back then. That was like, like Xbox a, expensive. Yeah, like that was like <laughs> like you're pushing it, kids. Like <laughs> so, I mean, the band is called Pico, right? Yeah. But I have to assume because you've been in this for a while. You know, you said you were back in the time of CDs and then playing those kind of uh, gigs. Yeah, not with this artist, with other just music. Yeah. So, so I want to go through uh, some history of band names. Oh no, man! Let's, let's, I let's, love. I mean, I love band names. I keep a note on my phone for ridiculous band name ideas <laughs> like we got to hear them because yeah, I, I, okay, cool. i've gone through a few bad That's ones a good myself party trick. oh man I'm well gonna, what, what you do is band name. um when uh someone says something really ridiculous like a two-part phrase you just go like oh that's a band <laughs> and i've been writing all those down <laughs> i hope these are pretty clean let's see what's sad is that these most all of these sound like they could be on pitchfork i'm sure we can Ready? find them on reverb boy dream Boy Psychic dream? favors, book magnet, dog child, <laughs> dog child. <laughs> yeah, that sounds that like sounds a metal band. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can just picture the like the the, the Norwegian the black metal. This is my personal favorite: Pizza Beach, uh, <laughs> Mouth Belly, uh, Paper Tiger, Cat Milk. Right, these are starting to sound like pornography names. These <laughs> 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 so are porn names now, not band. Names. Homeroom. Oh, name. we were just talking about oh, that oh, shit. And this one's up for grabs too. Cosmic vagina. Cosmic. <laughs> oh man, that That's one. Post punk hardcore.
Yeah, <laughs> I figured it was more of like a fun all girl punk band. Yeah, thing. yeah. I could, I could, I could definitely hear that. That sounds, that th- those all sounded like band names. I could definitely <laughs> hear like, hey man, yo, do you hear, you hear cat you milk today? It? Yeah, you hear cat milk. Yo, you gotta get that new goat piss EP, man. Goat yeah. piss. I think the funniest band name I've ever you know been a part of was Cheap Products. Burn the wood. And, and the reason it was called Cheap <laughs> Products is because everything we had was cheap as hell. <laughs> like, we had a drum kit that we saved and bought it from Toys R Us, and everything was just attached with yeah. each other. And then we had the the green export sodas cracker can. We flipped it upside down and made a snare, and and it was really cheap product. It worked though, man. You we guys recorded. recorded on it. Yeah. That was back in the day. Where can cool I find edit that pro. music? What was the first uh, software you used to record your music? Man, so I didn't have a computer until college, um, and I used cassettes. I used two, I, I really liked the Neptune Brothers um, growing up, and I would use two tape players, and I would multi-track by like playing something through a tape. I would record a guitar, mm-hmm. and then I would play it back to the next tape player uh, while playing something else on top of it, and just kind of keep going back and forth. That's fucking genius. It's yeah, well, I read about them, and that's what like Pharrell used to do back in the day. That's crazy. Yeah, but it, it's interesting because like the more you do that, the more it gets like cloudier and cloudier, and you can't. You have to like really prioritize the, the timing. Yeah. You still have any of those tapes? Yeah, I hope so. I need to talk to my friend I grew up with. We uh, my first band was actually like we had no idea what we were doing. We were like twelve. We played uh like experimental music. We just hooked up a bunch of guitar pedals to keyboards and just kind of let the effects went crazy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we were called Mechanical Advantage. Mechanical Advantage. <laughs> See, because we saw it in a book or something. That sounds like a villain in Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what that. Can we put in our drink orders? Can, uh, can, can we get some? Uh, what are you? Uh, what, what are you going with today, man? I want to just keep it simple, man. I want to go uh, my cappuccino, uh, double sugared. Please. <laughs> uh, just black coffee is awesome. Could I? Uh, he said that with that leather jacket. I want to. Can I try the strawberry tea? I was looking at that. I wanted to say like uh, chocolate shake, but I know it has no caffeine in it, which might hurt me today at work. But I saw a strawberry tea on there. I want to try. I think it's on the bottom. Mm. The strawberry tea? Strawberry yeah. Tea. That one. one. Yeah, I think it's that one. Serendipity. Strawberry tea, that sounds dope. It does. Figured I'd try it. I was looking at that like, hey, that's, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. So um, what, what, what is the Dance Alone film project? Um, so we're doing a video. F- there's only four songs on the EP. Um, and we're doing a video for each one. So one's already out. And we recorded that with some friends. Um, in like a photo studio on Star Street called Star Street Studios. And uh, we're working with a different director for each song, like a completely different concept. So I'm kind of letting people just take the songs and do what they want with them for the videos. So on the website, you're actually looking for directors? You're looking for uh, videographers? We we still need a couple if uh, anyone wants to sign up. Man, you guys need to jump on this, man. Jump Mm -hmm. on. We've we've got a... Two recorded, um, but you know you're always trying to like plan with different people, and, and yeah, there's, it's still open. There's still a few slots. Still a few slots, guys. Slide so into uh, the DMs. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> you you, you have Pico been. Music. It has been approved to slide into Pico Music at Pico Music's DMs. Did I get that right? Yeah. Yeah. See. Pico Music DMs. Go ahead and go ahead and get the slide work. on. Slide in. Slide like you're trying to slide into home plate. Go like you're stealing third, you're trying to beat yeah. that snap throw. Do the other band members have access to the account? Uh, my manager definitely does, so she might not be so happy I just did that. <laughs> uh, keep it clean, then, all right? Keep it clean, then, guys. Yeah. She's you a lady. Start getting those you definitely don't want to end up in the group chat, so uh, remember that oh, happens, man. Yeah. I think I think people, man, uh, well, well, I don't mean to change the subject real fast. Group chat, man. <laughs> group chat. People need to be careful, man. I am afraid to end up like in a group chat for sending the wrong type of text message, man. Like you have to be careful, like what you send out, man. Like because you, you don't know, man. And like group chats, are, you, you have any group chats with your yeah, friends? Yeah, well, I just get overwhelmed and I just mute them because otherwise, 
I sometimes I have up. to. Sometimes I have to, man. But when we're like really going and laughing, like my brother sent me something. Like what I sent you last night, he sent out a. Did you get what I sent to you and Cheese? No, uh, I didn't even in watch the morning. it. Bro. Yeah, you have to watch that video, bro. It's a kid. <laughs> he's a. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he's do, he's, uh, he's selling fireworks, and uh, he, the guy goes over to him. Uh, it's a news reporter, and the kid's out like like it looks like he's selling fireworks by a stand. And the guy asks the kid, "So what's the best fireworks to sell?" And the kid just turns him. He's like, "Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy?" <laughs> <laughs> and the and the guy looks at him like, "Where are your parents?" And he's like <laughs> that guy, that, that kid's sketchy. He's like. B- back to you, Jane. He's like he looks scared. Like it's not. It's like maybe a fifteen second. You sent clip. this on IG. I sent it to you. I, and cheese s- on I IG. saw that this week. I <laughs> couldn't stop laughing. My brother sent that last night. I was laughing for like forty minutes. Like it was just the way he said it. <laughs> Would you like to know, brother boy? <laughs> and the guy looked legitimately scared. Like, like this kid got stabbed. He was a grown ass man with a job. <laughs> All the weather boys. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just thinking about it right now. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, ingrained yeah. in my memory just the way like that guy yeah, knew see that. Like that guy knew he had a chance and he could walk away from this <laughs> and like live and be safe. Or like that kid like I think the guy was scared that kid might fucking slap the shit out of him. <laughs> just the way that kid yeah, turned yeah. like, What did you like to know, weather boy? <laughs> like it was that was perfect timing. See, I don't even think we could play the clip because if it was a news clip oh, man. Um, you know how shit is. You can just oh, you can just describe memes. Yeah, well, you guys got to go on copyrighted. <laughs> if we just describe yeah. memes, gotta go on pick music, Pico music. I said pick music <laughs> again. Yeah, Pico music. Dot com. If you guys are filmmakers and you want to participate in this project, I mean, if you can go on the Instagram. Is it Pico music as well? Yeah, the Instagram. Yeah. If you don't have Spotify, because they can listen to it on other platforms. Yeah, but yeah. it's on all of them. All of them. Napster. Napster. Who would have? No, who would have ever no. thought Napster would make a comeback as a real like music like, like really? streaming company? Like uh, they're real like uh, like actual platform. They're, they're a provider has, now, yeah, but a provider. But they're not like old Napster. They're not like original Napster. Someone yeah. just I guess uh, what's it? The guy had to have sold the name to someone. Like Airshare, LimeWire. Were you a musician when Napster first came out? Yeah, but I never. Um, I think when everyone was. Using Napster, I wasn't really like downloading music that much. I wasn't downloading on Napster, man. I got into the game like around LimeWire, man. Yeah. Uh, and even before that, was the one uh, uh, Nook used to use all, when MX. Yeah. Oh I used to get a lot of music off of there. What uh, Nook put me on that, man. When MX. When right. MX with man. the skins. My uh. Whoo skins. <laughs> Them skins, yeah. boy. The different skins. <laughs> Had the black galactic <laughs> one, all the green <laughs> and red and yellow, man. That shit, man. Green on black. Um, no, I, my older brother had Napster though. He's probably just using it to like listen to Dave Matthews or some shit. Dave you know? Matthews. There was. That's the thing about having older siblings. They listen to music, and you can kind of go that down was, the line. And back be in like, the time mm. of CDs, that's when CDs were prominent. Yeah. Because uh, it would take like seven days to download a, a CD worth of music. Oh my God! On a 56k modem, forget about it, man. And then you couldn't even really tie up the phone lines, man. Like, we came a <laughs> long way, man. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, we could only really get on the internet late at night, bro. And that was, like, when, for, when it was 56K. And it was like, fuck, we're going to ride. We, we can't get on all day. We got to stay up all night. We go Friday and Saturday. Like, we ain't getting off the internet. <laughs> Had to come out there and Cause, force us off. Yeah, because <laughs> someone needs to use the phone. Yeah. Man. And when the phone calls Classic. come in, the internet will cut off. Yeah. Yeah. That was the worst thing. Uh, I think heaven. there was a way to override that setting, but most people didn't know how to do it. Uh-uh. Having two phone lines was like the prime thing. That was, that, that was, was called upper luxury. class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, nah, we didn't, we didn't have that, man. You had to live in we, a nice We got house. lucky when uh we finally uh we didn't get DSL at first, man. Uh, they skipped DSL out here. Only uh, I forgot what service you had to have to get DSL, but we didn't have it. We we, uh, we went straight to cable modems. But uh, it took a while, man. We still had to yeah. suffer for like a year or two, like with fifty six k. Yeah. Well, a couple of our friends at DSL talking mad shit. Like, yo, but it moves so fast, man. That's cool. That's cool, man. That's yeah. cool. Like, yeah, man. It's cool for you, bro. Your pictures load, like. Yeah, man. You actually. This was during a time that when 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 we had computer class in high school, we used to take the floppy disk and and download mm-hmm. emulators and ROMs. So, because the computer I had at home didn't have any internet at all. I think the yeah. best thing we had was a Flintstone screensaver. 
man he's just wait he's just don't touch it don't touch it and then you see the flintstones pop up and that was the, that was everything that the processor could handle damn so it wasn't until i found like wolfenstein 3d and i just started oh my god oh man i, I was just downloading emulators and roms all day long this kids yeah. will yeah, the, the old Wolfenstein, the like the original, the original, oh, yeah. original mm-hmm. Wolfenstein. Yeah, Oof. I, I that. played it on baby mode. I'm pretty sure, or whatever the difficulty was, right? Yeah, there was there was one that was easy, the really easy. I think it's called Baby. Yeah, I remember that man. Lorenzo, Lorenzo put me onto that. But when you it took like it had like fucking the original was like seven eight floppy disks you had to install to do the install on it. Oh, it we got the drinks. Thank you, Danny. Sugar? My sugar. No, I got your sugar. Oh, you got my oh, sugar. sugar. I've been pre-sugared. You've been pre-sugared. Would you like uh, cream? Uh, no, thank you. Just. Thank <laughs> 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 you, Welcome. I like how the coffee happens live. That's that's nice. that's what happens when you pre-sugar. <laughs> 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 thank you. Look at this. Look at this fine craftsmanship. Look how. Luxurious. That heart is like swollen. It, it just has love in it. <laughs> How swollen this heart is today, bro. Swollen. Look at that shit. That's a swollen ass heart right there. That's a thick heart. <laughs> it's thick. That's a heart. <laughs> That's a heart thick and full of love. <laughs> Let's toast. Let's toast on air, yeah. gentlemen. Cheers. I'm just gonna put my. You're just gonna see the uh, here on the There side. we go. There go. Yeah. I just. I just tried to. Maddie, Maddie, would you like sugar, like in, sugar, your sugar in your coffee, Maddie? And can we get a shot and a wave? Yes, yeah. yeah, she would love sugar and coffee. How many would you like, Maddie? Um, Let us see you and then hold up your fingers. Two spoonfuls. Two spoonfuls, please. And how are there you doing is. back there today, Maddie? How are you? Hey, there goes the wave. <laughs> Are we all in agreement that Danny has a fantastic haircut? Oh, there you go again. Yes. <laughs> I think it looks good. It's not like Raph. Raph said that he just goes into the uh, into the barber and says, "Let me get a haircut," and they yeah. just do it. I, I go to the same place though, Black Rabbit <laughs> Barber Shop. Oh, that's the one right by um, where Lantern Hall was. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's actually there. good. I mean, Matthew's a really cool dude. I wanna, I've Is always that the guy with the like, twisted mustache? No, he doesn't have a twisted mustache. I've always wanted to like go to Some a barber that uses like actual scissors. Like I've never had a haircut like that, but I don't know if my hair like can take like my hair like can get that type of haircut. Like giving my uh, homie a plug, thirty dollar haircuts, really good. Man, at oh. Black Rabbit, right? Porter Avenue, Bushwick, yeah. But uh, yeah, I just walk in. And I say that's one the Morgan haircut, stop please. on the L. One poor cut. Uh, and like, one but does haircut. he like use scissors? Does he use like the razors? He like does the, it all. Yeah, yeah, he I has think it he uses all? scissors. Actually, well, I, I should know that. I have no when idea. When we did I just kind of zone out. Yeah, when I, we did the video game tournaments at um at Lantern Hall, I was going around giving out sponsor packets to every business around yeah. there. So I walked in there and I saw a guy with a twisted mustache and he was doing his fucking scissors like Edward Scissorhand. Like Damn. that was some magic. I said, God damn. Sounds like a villain. And then when you go to a regular barbershop, everybody's just arguing about sports. <laughs> it's like, this guy's playing classical music <laughs> and fucking <laughs> doing ballet while he's cutting your oh, hair. Oh, no. In my, nah. in my barbershop, I mean, they're, they're usually talking Spanish, man. I go to a Spanish barbershop. Yeah. <laughs> like, but my barber, yo, my barber gets the job done, man. Shout out to Maximo, man. He's been cutting my hair now almost like 10 yeah, years. Do the barber plug. Every, every, I mean, I can't really give a barber plug. Uh, yeah, yeah, shout out to my man. wife, who just gave me a one all around. And then uh, she was still left patches. Like, like, I, I can fall asleep <laughs> in the chair at the barbershop and take a quick nap and wake up and everything be like how it needs to be done with no instruction. Like, but here's the thing. Uh, Black Rabbit, they give you a free beer. Oh. Uh, so, yeah. Now that $30 so, haircut seems Yeah, perfect. exactly. I mean, the beer almost costs like $30 in that neighborhood anyway. So <laughs> Fair enough. Free this is true. Free, what do they free give, Maddie? Mimosas? Free mimosas? Free beer. Free beer? Oh, so it's yeah. one of those tough restaurants. Oh, it's tough barbers. I need to. I need to find and a free they, uh, beer at the barber. Yeah, Saks Fifth Lutang, Avenue. Which is all right. I went to Saks Fifth Avenue one time. I'd never really go to like places like that. I barely have a shop, and it was just I, I, I walked in there and I was with someone. They wanted to buy a belt. The belt itself was like five hundred bucks, 
But then they come around and they give you cheeseburgers. Like they had small mini cheeseburgers and glasses of wine just for wow. going in the store. Never knew that. How are you I remember the to first try time things when you're eating cheeseburgers. I don't know, but I had the it's cheeseburgers. Part of the I wasn't there to try it on. You don't realize it, then it all metabolizes, and all of a sudden, stuff doesn't fit quite right. They're not quite sure. <laughs> like and you I just quite uh, you didn't realize it, so you maybe missed the return policy. You didn't get it to return it in qu- uh, quite in time. So uh, now you have to go and buy something new. That's when they hide the tags. But they give you another cheeseburger. They go out, but they hide the tags. Go out for the weekend. Mm. <laughs> what happened to the crease? Do people still do that? I'm sure of it. Yeah. Uh, man, I, I, do you I, do that? I don't I've do never that. done it. I've never done it, but I'm pr- if I had to, I would. Yeah. If I had to, I would. I've never had to, though. The only time I've ever had to do that was when I was still with a, a, a management company and we were shooting a music video and they wanted us to dress up for the video, but they didn't want to pay for everything and we wasn't going to pay for anything. So it was just like, all right, we, we'll go put it on your card and then when we're done with the video, we'll take everything back. But there was still a few articles of clothing that still couldn't be taken back, like s- stuff yeah. spilled, you know, you get sloppy at the video. Yeah, Dang. that's that's how you have a men's warehouse suit now. <laughs> <laughs> man, You're this is true. It. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, man. I shop at a uh, Burlington, Burlington Coke Factory. Uh, Everything <laughs> discounted anyway. So, uh, not Marshalls. Marshalls too, man. Burlington Marshalls, TJ Maxx, man. And my buddy just told me about uh for work for some uh, dress shirts and ties, man. Uh, K and G. They said K and G warehouse. There was a place in Jersey called like Fordham. It was like. Ford Road, no, it wasn't Fordham Road. It was like Fordham something, and it was a, it was like a Burlington, but it w- it l- looks like it used to be like a airplane hangar, and they just filled it up with clothes that they sell for like a dollar fifty, two dollars, yeah. and you go in there and get jeans for three dollars. That shit was crazy, and we I still had to take it back. I think they were just stealing <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, we got the cheapest clothes there, and we still had to return that shit. Damn, that was for the video shoot. <laughs> Damn. We got we got nice jackets and everything for like ten bucks and I need my dollar back, sir. <laughs> God. Not gonna lie to you, sir. This was all uh paid for and just someone else's card and uh I'm gonna need a refund <laughs> a little. It was a sad time, sad time. And if times. it's been worn. We preach D D Y D Y I culture or D I Y. Yeah. We'll be back after Do it yourself. This coffee is delicious. <laughs> no, I don't really drink coffee. <laughs> Did you come out with this coffee? The little empty cup. That's what you come out the gate with on me, man. I mean, it is coffee for music people. And music, music for coffee, coffee people. A good coffee will wake you the fuck up in the morning. Remember you everything? know what else will wake you up in the morning? <laughs> good morning, Bushwick, hosted by us two, Bud and Roach. Roach. I mean, here at First Live. Where is First Live? Bushwick, baby. Take You're killing me, bro. You're killing me right now. <laughs> Like Where first live from? Bushwick. We're from Bushwick. We are Bushwick. Pick up your damn cup and pretend you're drinking the coffee. Here at First Live Bushwick. Do it again. Do it again. You know what else will wake you up in the morning? Good morning, Bushwick. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> right, right now, are we cutting a promo or are, are, are we live? No. <laughs> Where can people go to find out what's happening in Bushwick? Buttonroach.com and, and firstlive.us. Mmm, this coffee is delicious. Yes, it most certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are back live on Good Morning Bushwick this. on this Friday. Are you allowed to have that on air? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, definitely. This is not what you think, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> matcha. This is called matcha tea. We now stock it at First Live here at 219 yes. Central Avenue, Bushwick, Brooklyn. Culinary grade organic green tea from Kagoshima, Japan. Finest quality tea and tea sing. <laughs> I hope I got that all right. Yes. Yes. Monday. It's funny. Guess we know what we're doing Monday on air. First one's always free, man. <laughs> 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 it's much Good one. To the mic. <laughs> Good one. About the mic. The mic picked it up. Oh yeah. Good. <laughs> Culinary grade. So we're gonna have this this uh, person coming to the show. Yeah. We mentioned uh, yesterday that when we shot that promo that we just ran, he wasn't drinking coffee. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't drink coffee. Nothing. I didn't. I started this wasn't drinking even coffee that long maybe ago. three weeks ago. 
Maybe no, I th- what was it? Maybe the second or third show I tried my first coffee. So yeah, about it's been about a month now I've been drinking coffee. But I only drink coffee on air here. Like I haven't drank it at home, like anywhere else. I took a sip of coffee one day at my old job. Somebody wanted me to try her coffee and it was pretty good. You know what's funny is that I know that this is tea, and but it, it's, keep it's comforting me holding it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I feel a little more at home. Um, <laughs> it's just like, I just want to break it up, you know? It's already broken up. This looks like straight keef. It does. That it lo- really it looks like look straight like up, like, man. You probably get that off as keef, man. <laughs> Somebody who don't know yeah. no better. Keef is expensive, it's the guy man. in the corner. You can only, man. Call that California Keef. Like, yeah, man, just, yo, you can enjoy that, man. Yo, just This is that real good shit. Just put it in water. Put, yo, put it in some water <laughs> let it dissolve, yo. You won't even know it hit you, bro. Trust me, man. Yo, is this the first time? This is the first time I can tell you half the price. Uh, do, they, do they have, like, a, Cause I like, like it. infused teas? Uh, They do. Have you ever tried one? No, I, I've never tried one. You can't really? get it out here. We're in New York. <laughs> but, you know, you if you no, travel. No, I mean, no, nah, I haven't, you ever tried I haven't any been anywhere tea? where it's full legal nah, like that. I um, will when I, if I do travel. When I travel somewhere, I'm saying if I travel, when I travel somewhere. Don't know the next place I'm going to travel, but I hope it's somewhere that it is legal. Colorado or Washington that, State. That could be New York soon, though. I would hope so, man. Hopefully. That, that is something I would love to, you know, with this platform, help tra- help lead the charge on, man, be a part of. Like, we were talking about it last week on air. You know, uh, New York City consumes the most marijuana by volume, and that's consuming like edibles, vapes, every every like way you can talk by volume of any city on the planet. And take it's one because we're stressed out, <laughs> stressed out, <laughs> looking for looking for an escape. Just so many reasons, but like in any this city, escape. it's illegal. But can you guess? Would you look, be able? Can you think of where two number two or three on that list are? Oh the, man, the cities? you're also going to be legal ci- illegal cities. Probably like Los Angeles. Nope. You know. Los Angeles was four. Oh. Is it outside the United States? They're both outside the United States. Jamaica. Nope. Is it in Jamaica? We we thought yeah. that would be up there, but it wasn't. Damn, I don't know. Karachi, Pakistan was number two, and New Delhi, India was number three. I mean they have a much bigger population, so yeah. But by volume. Like Damn. it was it was crazy. Like it was because we were like at first we were all talking about I was like, that's gotta be like per capita, maybe. Like I was like, that can't be right. And then it was nope strictly by volume, and the company that did it did it strictly to show like what could happen if these cities taxed it at like a regular rate they went across. They said New York would make somewhere like close to 158 point something million dollars every year in extra tax It would tax be the revenue. richest state. Like I'm a, I'm not sure why you don't. And then that's that's just taxing it like that. If you bring in like hemp, and you you know hemp can be industrialized. All the other things you can do like with it, and I mean. I mean, you know what hemp can do, the, the, the hemp industry alone, yeah. that could turn into a multi-billion dollar industry across the nation, and that, that's for multiple states. But I mean, why keep it illegal? I mean, I'm still struggling to figure it out myself, but I love it. I would love yeah. to, you know, I'm sorry, that just got real, you just got real serious and political there. Yeah, yeah. no, it's all good. Not sitting there the whole time waiting to take a sip of my coffee. Not, oh, a, about to, my coffee. not to take it two steps further, but uh, I, I don't smoke. I'm one of those people that like, it makes me go into a corner, you know, but... I want it to be legalized just because, like, a lot of those arrests are just bullshit. So you know? frivolous, frivolous, man. That's not something something someone should go to jail for. Like, I joke around with one of our buddies, and he's been smoking uh, his, his essentially now more than half his life, almost his whole life. Um, and uh, he got arrested for a bag, a, a nickel bag of what we call Snickle Fritz dirt weed. <laughs> I was waving. Snickle Fritz. A nick of Snickle Fritz. You hear this, mate? Got arrested for it. You want me? You want me to and talk? And I always said, you want me to talk like the UK? whatever you do, like that's a five dollar nickel bag of garbage. And what did it cost you in manpower? Because it was like four or five cops. <laughs> it was like for for one, he's not a big guy. He's he's like uh, I'll say yeah. like he, he's it looked guy. like he how he pointed to me. He says he's not a big big like, guy. Like, Just look at this. Like, guy. But, but he's yeah. like yeah. compared to like he's, yeah. a, he's a, like I want to say frail, but you know <laughs> I'm frail, <laughs> bro. No, not you. I'm not. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying either of you. But you know, not a like you know you guys are you know, I'm frail. slighter, slight of, of a slighter build. All right, I'll be I'll be a bit more you know of a slighter build, and uh. Like a lot of cops, like, and it's like, I would always love to know, like, what that tally went, like, to put him through all that, the booking and all that. And it's like, for a nickel bag of weed, like, a nickel bag of snickle fritz of dirt weed. Yeah, they had to pay gas. <laughs> gas. 
like lawyer fees, like yeah. gee, like all of it for for all of this, all of this for that. Like I remember uh, even like my brother got arrested one time for it, man. I mean, he told me a story of how the cops ran up on him and uh him and his boy when they were uh, they, they were smoking one time because they thought like they had like squad cars on the street. Like and like I came home from work one day like why so many cops around? And, like I go in the house and ask my sister, yo, where's where's, where's Lorenzo? And she didn't tell me, and then she came to my room and told me what happened. I'm like, shit, like, <laughs> right? Like, I like, couldn't talk about it out loud. Like, we didn't want to tell daddy. Like, <laughs> yeah. you want to keep that from him. Like, but when, like, but when my sister told me, and when Lorenzo told me it happened, the way the cops like, like, ran up on them on the street, man, it was like, I mean, uh, where they were at, it was like, wow, that's crazy. Like they said, they kicked, they were actually they were up on the roof, and they said they kicked in the, the door, the roof landing door, guns drawn, for a blunt. People Simply play for too a much uh, Call of Duty. They just like too intense. It, it was insane Counts. when my you brother play? told me about it. Call of Duty. I suck, but I played. I haven't played video games. I haven't played I Call of Duty in a while. Yeah. So what what kind of video games? We constantly speak on video games on this oh, show. That's good. What kind of video games would you typically play? Let's say you had some downtime. Um. If is it with other people or alone? Alone or with other people. Um. Give them both. Kind of a wimp. I have a Nintendo Switch. Very into how, it. How do you like it? I like it. Is yeah. that is that like the the new that's portable the new Nintendo? One? Yeah. yeah, that's portable, and you can then it's home yeah. and portable. Take it on the subway. Take it home. Um, and then you put it in the dock, and then it goes right on the television. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Nintendo's I come a long way. I go on adventures and shit. Zelda. Yeah. Are you like a a classic Zelda fan, or do you just play like the new ones? I play all of them. Yeah, man. Because uh, Ocarina of Time is still to me the the best, best game Zelda. ever. That's that's the sixty four version or yeah. is that the NES version? You ever played uh, Ocarina of Time Zelda? Nintendo sixty four. Oh I never played any classic. Zelda. Classic. I never played any Zelda. Um, but if I'm with people and we're just drinking or something, Mario Kart. I think I ever play Mario uh, Kart. drunk driving. Mario Kart sixty four no. or Mario Kart 64. on the Wii. Sixty four. That's yeah, the one. Or party. That's the one, and that's the one that you know. A lot of these venues they started copying the. Uh, yeah. the we we just, we we did a, a few Mario Kart tournaments a couple years ago, at Lantern Hall, right by where mm -hmm. Black Rabbit is. I played there, yeah. So um, the people that came out, you could tell that people would never let that game go. It doesn't matter how many times they re-release new ones, it's always going to be the 64 version that reigns. Goldeneye. Golden oh, come on. Well, that's another one, man. That Jesus was one that he's like, you could just pop it in. It's like well, same rules, old rules. Let's, go, <laughs> let's, do, it. let's do it. No, uh, no odd job. Was that the oh, I odd job, hate right? his odd job, man. <laughs> Yo, Drew used to so cheese long. with oh Bullshit. my god, our boy Drew used to always cheese with. I him. have not heard Slow, that because so you, you see him so late, bro. Like, it's like, yo, where you come from? <laughs> just like that. Just like that. Knock your microphone stand uh, over. Uh, Boris Hall used to have. Golden Eye, do they still? Uh, they're closed. They did? They're closed now, right? They closed down? Did they close down for good? Or they what, closed? The Lantern? Lantern, right? Lantern they, is they closed. Shut their doors. They, uh, they sold the property probably a few weeks, maybe like a month ago. Yeah, we reported right on it on air. Damn. So. They have good tots. I love their tots, The cheese man. tots. The cheese tots, oh. man. And the fried, they have fried pickle things? Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do pickles, uh, man. I'm sorry, no offense. Spicy pickles? That's what I call it. Like, well, I, I wonder what they did jalapenos. with the, uh, the systems. I think the they were called jalapenos. <laughs> games, they had all the systems. That they yeah, had the what Sega did they do with them, though? Oh, who knows? They probably sold them with the, yeah. along with the venue. Probably, yeah. If it's, uh, it was one of those type of sales that we get the uh, we get the stuff inside. Or if not, man, you know, nah, I'm going to take all this with me. Or, you know, I'll toss it in for the right price. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's give a, a live hand clap for the memory of uh, Lantern Hall. Yeah, man. Uh, had some pretty fun times in there, man. Uh, you been to Carmelo's, though, that new spot? No. I haven't I've been to a bar in a while. Where at? Uh, it's on Irving. Like, Is that because you said that the something that you were doing was uh, right off of the Halsey stop, right? Uh, yeah, I'm playing. Um, so we're playing a live show to release the EP on a. Uh, the 20th of this month. I believe it's a Tuesday. It's at Trans Picos. Um, it's off the Halsey stop in Bushwick. Bushwick Ridgewood border. Yeah. It's a really cool venue. And that's the Halsey on the L train. On the L train. Not the J yeah, train. On the J that is the poser the L train, not Halsey. The J. Halsey. 
<laughs> the one with the high rises. <laughs> um, yeah, Dude. it's going to be really dope. Um, and then we have a, a few of our friends opening up for us as well. Um, it's going to be really sweet. My friend plays in this band called Heaven View that's just him and a drum set and electronic music, and he's he just shreds. Heaven View. Yeah. Shit. I could, yeah. yeah. If you want just drums. No, we could do that. Yeah, that'll just work. <laughs> And then, then me and Bud will come out with the cowbell. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll yeah, tell you what I'll you need you right now. What you need is more cowbell. <laughs> I got a fever. <laughs> Here's more cowbell. <laughs> Where's the cowbell? Where's the cowbell? I still got to cut that clip from uh, from before. Cause you didn't cut the DX, man. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. That was one. We, have the, we have the cowbell here? We have a cowbell. Yeah, Bowser, you was giving you gonna give me some cowbell? You gonna give me some cowbell? I'll give you some cowbell. I'm about to get some cowbell. We need, right a, we need a performance, so you need, we need <laughs> a cowbell. So everyone needs to know where the cowbell's coming. The cowbell. Did someone find the cowbell last all the way live? It's uh you should do like a cover album with just cowbell. Just like cowbell. the Meow the Jewels thing that Run the Jewels did. <laughs> the <laughs> what? Did Run the Jewels made a whole album that was just like cat sounds with their music. Look at this. He actually brought just the meows and purrs and hisses. Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh oh, I'm about to get some cowbell over here. Look at this. This is important, boys. You can mention this. Yes. Public service or the PSA. That's what about this? This won't. I just thought this was odd. Don't panic over plastic. And Chris is coming in on Monday. Oh yes. What, what, what was this? Chris mind, Day. Uh, mm. is, uh, March sixteenth. Yes, and we got your cowbell here. But we while got we got your cowbell here, we want to let you guys know about a safe disposal event. It's a PSA here. Uh, solvents, automotive, flammable, and electronics. Get rid of your harmful household products safely. Uh, in Brooklyn, Sunday, April 8th, 2018, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., rain or shine, weather's not going to hold this thing up. Prospect Park, Park Circle, corner of Parkside Avenue, and Prospect Park Southwest. Uh... You can bring old automotive parts, uh, electronics, household products, including paint, light bulbs, uh, you know, fire extinguishers, anything, you know, old repellents, anything, batteries, uh, and definitely uh, old medical items, medicines and stuff. Um, no tires, no appliances, and no refrigerators or air conditioners. Yeah, yeah that, man. It feels like we're actually doing something for the community. Yes. Makes me feel good about myself. I didn't even read it. Yes, and uh, if, you, if, <laughs> you need, here. if you need information, you can go to uh, nyc.gov slash safe disposal or call 311 for a list of upcoming events or turnover for year-round disposal options. So if you need to uh, hear what we just said, of course, like we said, uh, you can go to nyc.gov slash safe disposal and uh, get all the information I just gave you so you can know about this uh, safe disposal event. Solvents, automotive, flammable, and electronics. So we can. Uh, what is it? Sunday, April 8th, 2018, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., Prospect Park, Park Circle, corner of Parkside Avenue, and Prospect Park Southwest. I haven't been to Prospect Park in such a long yeah, time. The, the bro. drum circle there? or I don't, I don't know. Is that where it is? I don't know. Guess. The Park Circle. I guess they, they're going to do something good here. So we got to show up with Cowbell. We got to show up with Cowbell. We got to give them some Cowbell. But we know we got to get people today. And, you know, we're in Brooklyn, we're in Bushwick, and we haven't really spoken about it, man. Today is a, uh, a very important day. Uh, I'm pretty sure most Brooklynites, Brooklynians, whatever you want to call us. Bushwhackers. Bushwhackers. bed -styers. I think uh, the general Brooklyn consensus and New York City consensus on a day such as today, or this day in general, is we have to pay homage and respect to a legend, man, who's cut down too soon, man. So we all know what today is. Today is March 9th. Uh, and before I go into this, my cousin Vanessa, it's a birthday. So happy birthday. Happy birthday, May. Vanessa. Um, but today is also the day Notorious B.I.G. died. Um, well, I actually can't even say was died, was murdered. Uh, was taken. Was taken, man. Legend. Legend. Legend that young, bro. A lot of people try to say two albums of work isn't enough. <laughs> isn't enough for... Uh, <clears throat> He's going to pour his tea. Yeah. A lot of people try to say two albums isn't enough, but I think those two albums and how long they've resonated through decades now, what, they came out, first one's 94, Ready to Die, Life After Death came out in 97, now 
almost it's gonna be almost thirty years soon. Like it's, twenty. It's Woo! Th- I messed up on that one. I definitely got that wrong. I'm looking here like no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that old. I'm like no, I'm definitely wrong there. Twenty years, over twenty. It's, oh, it's twenty years already. Twenty what? Twenty two years now. It's going on. Twenty one. Twenty one. Man, I think it's definitely okay. reached iconic status. Yeah, both went diamond. I mean. But it's crazy, man. Like to still think, like, you, like you remember days like today, man. And why, man? I remember waking up and Angie Martinez being on the radio on a Sunday, and it was breaking news, bro. Like, and we heard it on the radio, and like it was, it was crazy. And they were reporting, like, he got shot in the drive-by, like, rushed to the hospital, and he didn't make it out. Like, and it was a sad, like, it was a sad day in Brooklyn, man. It was. I think that more than ever, if people take anything away from that they need to understand that people like that still exist. The problem is you don't support them. You don't seek out these artists. There's a bunch of independent artists out here that are putting out the quality stuff that could be iconic if you look that way. And if all you do is just, you know, if you're force fed all these different artists by mainstream media and and just the regular media outlets where they only focus on a handful of people, then you're going to miss out on all those next biggies and pox and all those legendary artists yes. that become local legends but never ever see the main stage. Like, I think it's sad. It is, man. And uh, I definitely could say, man, that, uh, I mean, just, I mean, you look at, man, how many people say, like, his music, man, the generations, how it still gets sampled, man, how they still use him, like, and they try to recut his verses on new tracks, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not a n- never new work when he's on it. So all oh, they recut it, man. But uh, unless he's like a Tupac, where he just had like yes. a thousand albums that he hadn't released, and everyone thinks he's alive because he just keeps coming out with new music. It's like that Dave Chappelle skit with the new uh, Tupac song. <laughs> Run up in your crib like CJ from San Andreas. This is the realest shit I ever wrote. I wrote this song in '94. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that was that was one of his <laughs> better skits, man. But that was towards the end. That was from the lost sketches. That was Stop like one of the sketches he shot. Up in the table. <laughs> anyway, we can't play no Chappelle clips. What's that on her back? <laughs> it must be doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> this is the realest song I ever wrote. <laughs> back in '94. Yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, I had ready to die. I remember being like a rebellious piece of shit listening to that. Man, I remember playing that. video games in my room. You did. I remember Just taking f- out your anger. Yeah. I remember the first time I heard like an uncensored rap song with cursing, and I think it was a Wu Tang Clan. I think it was a Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. I think that was the first song I ever heard with cursing, and it was like, what? What? <laughs> I was like, turn this off, get it. Yo, Lorenzo played. I was like, we gotta get in trouble. Turn this off, man. I was like, <laughs> not allowed to do that. <laughs> Like, yo, I was, I was, I was like, man, mommy's gonna kill us, man. What are you, what are you doing with this, man? We're gonna get in so much trouble. And I was on the other spectrum. My, <laughs> my mom had people from the church come in and burn my Metallica CDs. I had Master of Puppets and Ride the Lightning. And no I was just listening to like, you know, just straight metal and grunge. And I had my Nirvana stuff. And then they, they came to the house, but they came out with printouts of exactly what these words mean. So like, you know what Nirvana means? <laughs> so, you know, Jehovah doesn't like Nirvana. I'm like, oh, man. Doesn't Nirvana mean like... Isn't that like a peaceful state? Like like but it's it's not a peaceful state according to them. Oh uh, yeah. So it was they they burned my CDs. They That's took my brother's. metal though. Burning your stuff is yeah. pretty. They might as well. They were Metallica when they yeah. did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's James Hetfield. We tell you how to live. <laughs> oh, my mom. I just showed my roommate, who like I just got him in the older metal, because I love like eighties. You know like borderline drag show shit like <laughs> glam metal but like older metal too like iron maiden uh black sabbath and i got him a black sabbath and then i i showed him a, a metallica song for the first time i think it was one oh and yeah. he had never actually heard metallica Ooh. and he was like wait is this real is this what he sounds like and i was like yeah yeah he just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is real Give me fuel <laughs> Give me fire <laughs> <laughs> and then like a really pretty guitar solo and then back to that. He sounds like Triple H cutting a promo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, the game. Man. <laughs> it's but, but yeah, man, they uh, they torched my CDs. That's crazy. Damn. My my mom just took my sad away. days. We never got the, like CDs or games taken away. I never did. The trick is to 
write something different on the CD if it's a burnt CD? No, I will. Right. I, I, Christian I, music jams. I did. I did, I did the I complete my, my different master plan. I was lying. Yeah. Like, what is this? You got what is this on the shit? <laughs> I went. I, I put together this little cheap this computer. Is a I had a cheap computer, and then I, I learned about zip files. <laughs> and then I learned how to make the zip file hidden. Like if you right click, then it may hit and you yeah, refresh the file. page. So I was storing everything on. They, they look at the hard drive. It's like, how you got 500 gigs worth of stuff? You only got a screensaver in here. And meanwhile, I had between my porn collection and my music <laughs> yo, collection. Yo, 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 between <laughs> you and Drew with your hidden files, man. When these guys were younger, yeah, yo, that's you're like you're always like opening the hidden files. Yeah, show hidden files. <laughs> the folder just boom, just like everything pops up. It's like, goddamn. <laughs> like yeah. like a curator. Yeah, but the difference between me and Drew is that Drew was featured in his. I had just, you know, downloads. Oh, man. Yeah, that's man was that filming one. everything. So... <laughs> 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 I don't think that's the really good, morning show talk. The good old days. Yeah. Uh, so where can people uh, follow Pico, the band, and, and, and you? So Instagram. Instagram. Um, Facebook. Uh, if you look up Pico, you should see the event pop up too. If you live in the neighborhood, and uh, be dope if you clicked even just the interested thing. That stuff matters, you know, um, to bookers and stuff. Especially since this has been a newer project, playing live with a band. Mm -hmm. I play with really kick-ass musicians. Um, my friend Ben plays with Blood Orange. He's my drummer. Um, my brother, who's always played music with me, uh, is playing guitar. And then um, Michael Summer, a really good, a dope sax player from Berkeley, is playing sax. So it's going to be. Got the team together. So. Yeah, whole squad. Even if you just click interested, I'm going to look it up and click interested. Click interested. Yeah, it looks mm. good. When are you coming back to first live? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Is that with you guys? Or? Uh, No. Mm. I'll, I'll try to be with. here. I'll try to be here. I yeah. have to work tomorrow. Yeah, and we'll also, I'm also, uh, we're playing a couple songs tomorrow, right? Well, yeah. not on the same website, right? A different website. No, uh, it'll be on firstlive.us, right? For them tomorrow? Firstlive.us. The first first Live Coffee House Facebook yes. as well. Facebook, live stream, and firstlive.us too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. firstlive.us soon. So yeah. actually, live stream tomorrow is on First Live Coffee House. Yeah. Um, check but I'll out. check it out. I'll be able to live stream it at work. I'll yeah. check it out. Uh, you know, yeah. I get a lot of downtime at work, but yeah. stuff be there. We're going to play a couple <laughs> songs from the album. Um, a little like pared down versions of them but yeah we're gonna play a couple tomorrow yeah i totally forgot what day it was yeah that's tomorrow it's tomorrow so, so it's p-i-k-o-e yeah music.com pico yep. music.com yep. oh um should i be doing that into this or I'll, I'll be playing synth and um using like the back track will come from my computer and um my brother will just have an amp and a guitar classic and then The band out, um, a drummer you can't make it. Everyone's just like, okay. everyone's doing um, the whole South by thing, and I'm not cool enough. Yeah, that's that's what, what usually happens. South yeah. by Southwest is going on. I right look now? at everyone's Instagram and they're doing cool shit <laughs> with all these cool people. They're like chugging beers yeah, at the beach house, and I'm soon. just here. We'll all get there soon, man. Yeah, you gotta believe. And I'm in Key Foods, just uh. <laughs> Listen, Chillin'. there might be something that inspires you in Key Foods that makes you write a record that gets you to South by Southwest without them. Yep. And then next year you're chugging beers and there's somebody who you inspire that gets to South by Southwest. Yeah. And we gotta keep the cycle going. Once we get the yacht back, you can it's come, yeah, you can you come, come for to the Harbor House. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we can smooth things over with the uh, studio manager back at the Harbor Studio, the man. Landlord. Yeah. <laughs> So where can they follow you? Uh, you? You guys can follow me across, of of course, across. at uh, <laughs> Mr. Underscore Zotel on Instagram. Uh, you can follow us online at uh, at Bud and Roach Show. You can follow me at I'm King Roach. You can follow First Live at First Live US. Of course, we do this every weekday, 10 a.m. Eastern time on GoodMorningBushwick.com. Yes, and uh, don't forget to stop in, man, if you're in the area, 219 Central Avenue, Bushwick, Brooklyn, 11221. Come enjoy one of these fantastic hot or cold caffeinated beverages, one of these amazing teas. Uh, we have the maca tea now, so matcha. I said maca. Matcha. Matcha tea. Sorry about that. Matcha tea. Uh, 
So come try it, man. Um, we have a you know assortment of teas also if that's your thing. Uh, and of course, if you need any uh, recording, remember we record anyone, anywhere, anytime. anytime. Get all the information you need on firstlive.us. Uh, the contact information you need. And this is a wrap for week four right here, episode 20, man. We will see you people Monday morning, man. We 10 a.m., same time, same place. Have a fantastic weekend, Bushwick. Cheers. The realness. The realness. Got you stuck with the, the realness. The realness.